Eddie, it's time for bed. No, I have to read. Come on, Eddie, it's time for bed. You got school tomorrow. What a great book. I wish I could learn more about the author, Mark Twain. Well, I'll go to bed. Hello everyone, my name is Mark Twain, but that was never really my real name, that's my pen name. My real name is Samuel Longhorn Clemens. I was born in Florida in 1835. That same year, Haley's Comet came by. Later, when I was growing up, I lived in Hannibal, Missouri. Life there was pretty tough. At the age of nine, my sister Margaret died, and at the age of 12, my father died. I hated to go to school, and that was the reason I didn't get a full education, but I still managed to become a journalist. Life was going great for me. In fact, in 1870, I met a beautiful girl named Olivia Langdon, and we got married. In fact, in that same year, we had a son, and we named him Langdon. Later on in life, I began to write books. My most celebrated book, The Adventure of Tom Sawyer, is about two friends who look for treasure, trick their friends, witness a murder, do a lot of growing up. Tom Sawyer was such a fun book to write because I used my own memories living on the Mississippi to help me. I especially could relate to the character Huck Finn. In fact, it only took me seven years to write a sequel. The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. One fun thing I like to do is fiddle with gadgets. I could consider myself a little inventor. I had three really good inventions. The only one that made me money though was a self-pasting scrapbook. I had three dogs. You probably wonder what their names were. I know, you know, and don't know. No, really, those are names. I had some hard times in my life. I thought you could make a ton of money in the printing business, so I invested most of my money in the page typesetting machine. It was a huge mistake. I fell on hard times and fled to Europe to live more inexpensively. Eventually, I got back on my feet by getting paid for giving lectures all around the world. In fact, I had dinner with President Theodore Roosevelt and future President Woodrow Wilson. Some of my other famous friends were Emerson, Ulysses S. Grant, and Whitman. I received an honorary degree from Oxford and met King Edward VII and his queen in 1902. I lectured in India, South Africa, England, and many other important places. Here's two things about me you probably never knew. Mark Twain was my only pseudonym. In fact, when I was young, I had many different ones. They consisted of Thomas Jefferson Snodgrass, Rambler, and Sergeant Fathom. I love cats so much. They would keep me company when I was lonely. In fact, when I was in New Hampshire I, in the summer, just me, I would go over to a friend's house and ask if I could borrow some cats just to keep me company. Many people may know me from my most famous book, The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. But that wasn't my first book ever. My first book ever published was The Celebrated Jumping Frog of Calaveras County and Other Sketches. It was a tremendous book to read. I died in 1910 when Haley's Comet, oddly, came by the Earth again. And as Mark Twain would say, Haley's Comet brought me to Earth and took me away. I feel so great that so many kids are still reading my books. Even today, in 2007. Hope you enjoyed hearing a little bit about my life. Remember, always, always keep reading.